my name is Joel, this is my wife Rachel and our fur baby Montego. And we are Binks Tube and this is our Binks bus. So welcome to our bus, this is the living room. Um, we bought this bus about seven months ago, been living it full time ever since. Uh, it was originally converted on HGTV, big living tiny house, uh, but we kind of bought it and redid the inside to fit our lifestyle. When we bought this bus, the couch was pink and you couldn't access the storage underneath. And we also built the little succulent shelf there in the shoe cubby. And so now you can access all the storage underneath from the front, the couch is gray, uh, Rachel needed um, a place to organize all her work, so I built this shelf custom to all her needs. Plus the TV, and you know we have to we have we play video games, so we had to have that up there. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, as you can see, these walls have shiplap on them. When we first bought the bus, uh, the plywood where it was meeting was cracking, insulation was coming out, so we redid the whole thing with shiplap, and our windows um, were just plywood cut. There was no, it wasn't framed out at all, so we did all that as well. Because the insulation was starting to come out as we were driving, so we framed it out so it just looked nice and feel like a home. And uh, we love the curtains, you know, they just kind of hide. They come down or they just go up and hide out of the way. This stool has been very handy. Uh, it's comfy to sit on or rest your feet on at the same time. You know, we can lift it up, flip this around, have a little desk or table here. Mm -hmm. Plus we store all our games and stuff inside. So uh, that's been a huge help as well, living in a tiny space. at that point where we were looking to go tiny uh, but we didn't have a plan set in place and our lease was about to renew so we were like we just got to get out of here so we searched and searched and found this um, awful RV that was on Indian Rocks Beach and it was being rented out for a much lesser price than what we were paying in rent so we just jumped on it immediately moved in to test out our tiny living before we committed to anything and it was rough because the RV was rough and it was falling apart and there's even holes in the wall and we had to clean it out because somebody left their dog in there and the dog peed everywhere and so we covered the carpet with plastic, put new rugs over top of it. It was, it was a nightmare to clean up and get ready, but it was worth it and it made us realize that we could definitely live in a tiny space together. So as soon as we saw this bus, we jumped out of that RV, got in here and got to work on it. So the kitchen is what we've finished lately, um, and it was also the biggest headache when it comes to redoing. Um, nothing was straight. Um, when we first bought it, the countertop was plywood with sticker on it, so that was peeling off. Um, there was no upper cabinets, so there was just floating shelves, which does not work when you're driving. So I built all these from scratch, um, thanks to YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I stripped all these bottom cabinets down to the studs, installed these drawers from scratch, and also laminated this countertop and installed it as well. Over here on the coffee bar, again, built this upper cabinet from scratch, redid the countertop because it again was uh, plywood with sticker and also made it dark because we thought that would match the coffee bar look. If you get coffee grains on it, they're not going to show like on a white surface they would, you know, saving from having to clean it every second. I make coffee and then also stripped these down to the studs and redid this, made these doors and everything um, so that it would all kind of flow together. So this sink was installed when we bought the bus. Um, she's a big fan of large farm sinks. Love them. Um, and we were gonna go with that, but it just didn't fit here and it was inconvenient to move the sink to another spot. So we just kept it because it's honestly the perfect size for us. Um, if we're busy and our dishes are piling up, you know, it's good to not have a teeny sink where they're getting on the counter and stuff. So um, it works for us. We try to keep it clean, but it's honestly the perfect size sink for us. So we just kept it. Everybody loves this uh, retro microwave. Um, they think we spent big money on it, but we didn't. Amazon. It's Amazon, 60 bucks I think we spent, great deal. This fridge was um, energy efficient because the uh, freezer is on the bottom and it kind of goes with that retro look that Rachel wanted, so that's why we went with that. This stove, I'm pretty sure came from Lowe's or Home Depot. It was already here when we bought the bus, um, but it's got a nice size oven. We put, fit two pans of bacon in there 
and you know, cook a good amount of food. We live the keto lifestyle, so bacon is definitely in our everyday diet, so. <laughs> Some things we weren't sure if we wanted to get rid of, so we rented out a self-storage for a while. And then once we realized we didn't need it, we felt more comfortable getting rid of it. So uh, downsizing is definitely not easy, um, but once you experience the tiny living experience and not having a ton, uh, you realize it feels very refreshing and, and good, and it's worth getting rid of the stuff that you don't use often. So um, not necessarily easy, but definitely worth it, I would say. Yeah, I feel like you had a harder time getting rid of things because you're attached to your yeah. sentimental items more than I am. I'm more of a pack rat than she I is. really enjoy throwing things away. It makes me feel good. Yeah. Um, if I leave it out, she's like, I'm throwing it away. So, <laughs> um, you know. But it's been really freeing financially and time-wise because we can probably clean this whole place in 30 minutes where when we had a two bed, two bath apartment, it was like hours and it wasn't fun. And we thought, kind of felt strapped to our to the place we were renting. And this place fits our, our personalities and fits our lifestyle we want way better. This takes a lot of time. So I don't know if I recommend making this pattern because it took like over 40 hours to cut all these little pieces of wood and make them fit perfectly. Uh, but yeah, so this is our door, our sliding barn door. And then if you come over here, we have a nature's head composting toilet and uh, a shower here. Uh, when we first came in, there was no storage. So I had to build this cabinet up top. There was no medicine cabinet, not even a mirror, um, no shelves, literally nothing. I don't even know where the people before put their toothbrush. Um, so that was definitely a priority. When we first bought it was build some storage in the bathroom uh, so that we could have our toothbrush, you know, hair dryer, everything in place. So this right here, people usually think is a pantry, but it's not. It's our closet because we like clothing. And uh, it was originally a closet when we bought the bus, but um, it was just open. There was nothing here covering it and it looked pretty crappy. So I built these doors here to match the kitchen cabinet doors and kind of just closed that off. Uh, we don't have any water tanks yet. We just have RV hookups is how we bought the bus. Um, so once we get the inside kind of redesigned, that's gonna be our next goal is putting solar on top and uh, water tanks below so that we can go off grid, head out west, hit up wherever we wanna go and just enjoy life. People who built this bus, uh, he was 6'7", she was 6'5", so they're really tall. But for us normal people, we need a ladder to get up at this moment until we switch it around. So this is how we get into bed every night, and even our cat has to use it. Yeah, so this right here is a queen size bed. That's what it was built originally to, and we already had a queen size mattress that is extremely comfy, and I can't imagine getting rid of, so it all worked out perfectly. Um, but we have a lot of goals with this bedroom, so we're gonna flip the bed sideways to give us another three feet to walk into the room. And then on the left side here, I'm gonna build a little staircase up so that we don't have to climb up a ladder every time we wanna get in. Um, and so what we do after that, um, I don't know, she wants to extend the bathroom out, put a bathtub in, we'll see. Um, but one thing we're definitely doing is when we push it against this wall, we're taking this window out and um, I'm putting a more narrow one, a long one on the wall that will slide open and we can be able to look outside when we wake up and stuff. And there's a lot of storage underneath from the back. So uh, the people who originally converted it loved riding bikes and, and doing squat rack stuff, a lot of weightlifting. And so there's, like a, there's a lot of storage from the back of the bus, there's three feet behind this headboard to the back of the bus and then all the way under the bed. Yep, so back behind here, we have our tankless water heater, um, our electric panel. We're gonna put a skylight here on this hatch and we're gonna have a ladder attached to the wall we can just pull off, put up there and just uh, walk up onto the deck. There's no deck yet, um, but after we get our solar, we'll see how much room we have and we're gonna install a deck on the back end. As you can see, there's a TV mounted on the wall here and this is just here because we like to watch Netflix at night sometimes or if we're playing Fortnite, this is kind of my station. I hook up my Nintendo Switch as she plays on the PlayStation. So uh, yeah, lots of social time spent here. So when we decided to go tiny, uh, we wanted to be able to travel. And in order to do that, we knew we had to have our income be mobile. So I was serving at the time and I decided to pick up extra shifts, uh, go even harder than I was already and get, let Rachel um, quit her job 
and just focus on building an online income system. Yeah, so that process took us a couple years. We tried, you know, being business owners and doing the whole social media marketing thing. So I love digital ads and all the background stuff of that, uh, but I didn't really enjoy working with clients. It was getting to the point where it was more draining than it was working at a nine to five job again. And so we found this company called Appen, and I've been working with them for 14 months now, and I'm basically an independent contractor. And so we both work for Appen, and it's, we can roam around wherever we want as long as we have internet service and get our work done. It's been great, been very freeing. You can do a little here, do a little there. More on your time scale. So this door was hard to find. Um, we were thinking we were gonna have to build a custom door which costs a lot of money, uh, but I just happened to find this on Facebook Market. It's a strange size. It's only 29 and a half inches wide versus like usually 30 or 32, 36. And so I got really lucky by finding this on the Facebook Market and didn't have to spend crazy money on a custom door. About the roof raise, that was one project I wouldn't have had the guts to take on, and I know a lot of people are scared too, but if you go watch the episode of how this bus was built, it actually was really simple. Um, they didn't have to do any welding. All they did was uh, cut the, the ribs, and then they lifted up with three jacks, and then they just put a, a beam over the two and bolted it. So no welding had to take place or anything, and if you watch the episode, it actually makes you realize it's a lot more simple than people think it is. The people before us who actually converted the bus, they hired a professional artist to come out and put these wings on and people love to take their you know selfies in front of them. But sadly, we might eventually paint over them and make it look more like a house outside. If any of you are thinking about going tiny or wanting to um, um, get out of the nine to five job that you're working, um, all I can say is just don't stop trying because it took us three years to get here, to have all of our uh, income be online, and it was a journey, and it was having to pick up all those extra shifts so she could be doing research and building what we've, we've built. And um, there was a lot of times I just wanted to give up, and all I can say is just keep going, you know? Just keep trying and keep chasing your dreams. Our long-term goal is to be able to live off of our social media. Uh, so we started a YouTube channel right before we bought the bus, just about traveling and what places to go in Florida. Uh, but eventually when we get on the road, we want to be vlogging that whole journey. So feel free to join us, we're BingsTube. Also on our Instagram, we uh, Instagram currently is the best way to keep up with our daily lives. So you can find us on there as well. Same thing, BingsTube. So that's us, we're BingsTube. Uh, we love you guys, and I hope to see you when we're on the road. Bye. <laughs>